John, what's the, uh, the first thing you ask a client, or what do they ask you when they come for their first lesson? Um, they, I, I try and don't do too much initially as far as asking. I'm trying to gather as much information as possible. So they've told me kind of what their goals are. Hopefully we've had that conversation. I want to get as much data as possible about what they can do, skill-wise. Wind's a little oh, stronger wind. now. How crucial is it somebody comes to you with a lot of questions prepared and a lot of, uh, a lot of information? Do you, do you prep them prior to? Or? If somebody comes and says, what do we do? The investment world is such a, a broad space yeah. that if they don't know what they're looking to achieve, it's hard to, to guide them in the right direction. So I think it's really important for, for our clients to come prepared um, with the questions that they want answered. And then when they come down and sit face to face, there's nothing like having a conversation face to face. You can feel the emotion of the client. You need to pick up that vibe and where they are really and they're trusting you as much as they're trusting what you're saying. That's right. Do you think you can trust me to get this on the green? No, but try anyway. Okay. I pushed it. It's all right. Not a bad match. Should break. Should. It's trying. It's a good putt, good speed. That's important. Speed first. For me, I'm trying to teach the principles and then I'm trying to guide them through the emotions that come with performance. Is that something you deal with? Part of our, our job, I think, collectively is to handle those emotions. Mm -hmm. Someone's not hitting the ball right, they're probably mm -hmm. gonna get extremely frustrated. Someone's not meeting their investment objectives, they're probably gonna get equally as frustrated. Yeah. And I think that's what we're really there for. Good putt. Thank you. Nice pot. Thank you.